everyone so first up it's early in the morning right now it's seven o'clock it's actually on a Saturday I like to sleep in on a Saturday but during the week we are up at 5 30 in the morning to get her up and ready to go so if you have a new American bully puppy right the biggest thing is potty training you don't want your dog to just do their business around the house so you have to beat them to it that's most important so I'm up before the dog is up so that I could bring her outside so that she can handle her business first and foremost now next up what you're gonna be seeing is training why is training important so you have to understand if you have a puppy that has high drive a dog that really really wants to work they're gonna have a lot of energy which means that they're gonna do things around the house so how do you combat that you have to burn that energy a tired dog is a good dog so I'm gonna be showing you just in a few little clips what I do in the morning with Chanel So that wraps up the obedience portion of the morning routine. So I try to get at least 15 minutes in with her every morning just to get the energy out. Just because 15 minutes of your day really breaks out the best in your dog. Once you tap into that dopamine state, it gets them very active, gets the senses going. And then that's when you create your max level of bond and engagement with your dog. So from here, what do I like to do? I like to give her water in her crate. Why am I doing that? It's because I want to crate train her, right? But I also want her to understand that it's okay. It's a win-win. Leave her in the crate for 10 minutes, let her get her water, let her know that it's okay to be in that area, be in that space, because as all of you know, if you introduce a new puppy to the crate, they're gonna start crying like crazy. But you have to work out of that cry. Reward them when they are quiet. So it's a win-win, and this is how we go about building the whole process to getting to where we want to be. So I'm gonna put her in her crate, let her get her water, let her understand that this is my area, and this is actually where she eats too. And my biggest tip to all of you is, if you wanna introduce the crate training the right way, have your dogs eat in their crate first. Have them understand, oh, it's okay for me to be here. It's okay, okay, I, I know this area. So that they're not freaking out and you can get them to mellow out in the crate. So we're gonna be showing you that. And you guys see how this works? She's doing great in the crate so far. Chip. We reward that behavior. We reward that to get her to grow comfortable with being in her space. All right, everybody, so we just wrapped up the crate training portion of the video and I just wanted to show you just a little bit of the ins and outs of how I introduce it and how I got her to become pretty damn good in the crate already given the fact she's been here for less than a week super happy with her progress and what I did today was I brought her upstairs to the room with my wife my wife still works from home so I want to make sure that Chanel gets acclimated to my wife's schedule that's the whole emphasis behind doing what I'm doing to make sure her day is broken down in a very structured routine so that she understands okay I got my outlet, this is what was required of me, and now it's time for me to chill, and this is my time to relax. So that's what we're working on, right? So today I introduced her to going upstairs, to staying with my wife after her morning routine. Now what I do at that point, once I'm done with the crate training, I like to take out ghosts. So once I get in from walking ghosts, what I like to do is I like to come onto my backyard, and I like to just run up and down the backyard. But what I do is I let out Chanel and ghosts so that they could be in a moderate play situation where I'm outside and I'm engaging with them. So I like like to run up and down the backyard just to get them to follow me just to get them to get the energy expended out of them but they're playing and that's what I like to do with this portion of the training this actually wraps up the whole morning sequence once I'm able to get this done I usually try to do this for like 10 minutes whatever the case is I'm just gonna be showing you clips and then from there it's just going about what we do so let's get into that phase of the video So we just wrapped up our training session outside. They did good, showed great engagement. It was a good workout. So now with that being said, I'm just gonna clean up everything, make sure everything's good to go for the rest of the day and we'll pick up just showing you what we do going forward. It's actually just more of a chill kind of concept after this, but I'll pick up once I'm done doing what I gotta do. All right, everybody.
party, so we're prepped for the day. The bowls are just clean. We got little mamas right here. Yeah. Some mamas. See, look at all that drive, little mamas. Oh, you give daddy such good shits, mamas. Ghost is already in his bed. He's already knocked out. <laughs> But this little mama got all the drive in the world, so I'm just gonna be showing you guys what we do after this. All right, buddy, so once we're done with that portion of the morning routine, I like to make myself a cup of coffee. I like to hang out. At this point, I've been on vacation for a week now. I purposely took off to make sure that Chanel was good to go with the routine that we were gonna be implementing with her, right? So from here, I just let them lie down. You can see I got ghosts in his area, Chanel in her area. You know, we set the boundaries. And from here, it's just the same thing just about. My wife gets to sleep in a little bit. They get to sleep in with her. Once she gets up, she lets them out. So the same routine is gonna stay present here. They're gonna nap, do what they gotta do, whether it's for an hour, two hours, whatever the case is. Once they get up, because remember, at this point, we're still working on potty training, making sure everything is good to go. Once they get up, I let them outside. I don't let Chanel walk around. I pick her up, bring her right outside. I gotta beat her to the punch. And when she handles her business, we give her super high praise. Like, good girl, good girl, such a good girl. Because that's what we wanted, right? And I've had her now for, I would say a week, a little less than a week. And we've only had three accidents in the house, which is great. You know, I learned my lesson the first go around with ghosts. It's all about beating them to the punch. And that's why you have to get your days started very, very early. So this is a Saturday. We started at seven in the morning today, but this is the grind starting at 5.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday. Now at this point, I enjoy my cup of coffee. I let them chill and then I just work on everything else. The TikTok posts. This is mainly where I film everything, this area right here because this is where we get the funny content for them. But from here, it's just prepping all the Instagram posts throughout the week, the TikTok posts, and this is where I brainstorm all of the shots that you see on YouTube, where I wanna go, what I wanna film. This is where it all happens. So at this point, we just mellow out, we just chill, and you know, these two just go to sleep. Show you. My mamas, my babas. So pick up when they wake up. Alright everybody, so it's around 11.20 right now. They just got up from their nap. And I would say they had about an hour and a half, two hour nap. What I like to do is right after they get up, I like to bring them right outside. Let them use the restroom, let them do what they gotta do. We're potty training, right? So it's most important that you beat your dog to the punch. You bring them outside, as soon as they get up, don't even let them touch the ground. Pick them up, bring them right outside, let them do what they gotta do, and then you give them super high praise, super high reward, because they're doing the behavior that you wanted. This is how you let them grow acclimated to doing their business outside. So from here, it's just the same routine. Go back inside, I'm gonna show you what I do with the tug of war with both of them, let them both become engaged. And then I'll show you after that how I go about growing the bond building process with Chanel. So we're gonna go to that part of the video. It's all part of the bonding process, right? So what I like to do is after we come in from being outside, I like to give her this round. Her bed is right here, ghost bed is right there. And I want her to feel all this love and I want to be able to grow that bond process with her, right, mamas? Hmm? Did I get kisses? No, okay. Guess it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so right here, it's just making her feel comfortable. As you can tell, look how happy she is being right here, you know, we want her to know that we love her so much and we're just so happy with her being here. What this is doing is this is prepping her for the day that we're gonna be having daily with her. So essentially what it is, we go outside, we come inside, I get the energy expended out of them by either tug of war, having them run across the yard. And I do this basically throughout the whole day. One hour of sleep, 15 minutes of rest, have them come inside, let them have their moderated play inside, and then I have them come right here and I let them be a dog. You can tell she's snuggled up, she's ready to go to sleep. Usually what I like to do is I like to put her right here, um, rub her so she goes to sleep. And what I've been doing is I usually have ghosts sit right there and lay in his area. She sits right here, lays in her area so that they understand that these are the boundaries that we have put in place. This is what we're doing right now, it's just all 
part of the bomb building process with Chanel. Yeah, that right, mom is. See how happy she is. See how she's all cuddled up with her daddy. All right, everybody, so it's 314 right now. I don't know if you can see it. They just got up and I let them outside to go play. I just did the same thing like I did this morning, just threw the ball back and forth, let them interact together, let them run together, let them get tired, get all that energy expended out of them. This is done now. So right back to where it goes, this is his spot, her space, and you could tell, see little mamas, you see how she has that toy? She's a biter, she likes to chew things. That is okay. Instead of it being here, instead of it being there, it has to be this right here. Give her something to chew. So you got the tug roll, Another tug, tug toy, got a bone, and I got a Kong toy underneath there. So anytime she bites this, her leash, anything around the home, I supplement that with one of her toys to get her to understand it's okay to bite, but bite your toys, not around the house. All right, everybody, so it's around 5 p.m. right now, and as you can tell, I got the doggies with me. We're still sitting down, it's relaxed time, you know. Like I said, I provide for them the outlet to get the energy out so they could come in and do this. So I apologize for not getting clips of them running outside a little bit earlier. It's just that it's cloudy outside and it was starting to rain. So I was like this, man, I've already shown you what we do, why double down on it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna say like around 6 p.m. is when they're gonna get their spur of energy. And when that happens, you go right outside and do the same thing. Then from there, I'm just gonna show you dinner and how I feed them and how I go about introducing things to Chanel. So that's gonna wrap up the video. With that being said, let's get into the next phase, baby. Everybody. So it's around roughly like 7.45, 8 p.m. right now. What I like to do is I just like to light a cigar and let the dogs come out. Let them just walk around, be a dog. Right now we're not doing any training. It's just more so just letting them, you know, do what they do. Just let them be free. Let them just run around and, you know, just be a dog. So that's what we're doing right now. And once I'm done with the cigar, I'm going to go in, feed them, do what they got to do. And then we're going to wrap it up for nighttime. So we're gonna start with ghosts first. Babas! You hungry? You wanna eat? You hungry? Sit! Paul! Good boy. You hungry? Blots! Eat child ready! Eat! So you got my hand right here. Mix in a little bit of cheese, got her Victor. Got the handful right here, right? So now we want to make sure that she's not, you know, food aggressive or anything. You see how I let her smell? She knows I'm in control. Front, look at daddy. Good girl. Eat child ready. Eat. Good girl. Good girl. So she just finished her food. Good girls, mamas. Good girls. Girls finish this food, so I'm just going to let them out. Oh, mommy. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. So from this point on, we just allow them to roam free around the house in that little area over there. Let them chill, relax, have a good time. We're actually gonna enjoy the Rangers game right now. Look, and they're over here, they're over here playing. <laughs> so that wraps up this portion. It's nighttime now. And in about, I would say an hour, hour and a half, I'm gonna take them outside for their final walk. So that being said, let's get into the next phase of the video. All right, buddy, so I just let them out for their last walk of the night. What I like to do is if I have the time, I like to take out Ghost for his walk. But right now, it's a little bit late. I'm a little bit tired, and he's got a lot of exercise in today. So I just let them do what they got to do. And then from here, it's just nighttime. Bring them right upstairs and 
they lay in their beds to wrap up the night. Alright everybody, so that wraps up the video. I hope that each and every single one of you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and sub to the channel. Check off the bell notification icon to become part of the family. And just to give you guys an overview of what we were trying to accomplish in this video. So it was big that I show you the routine of what I'm doing with Chanel, why I'm going about doing what I'm doing, and I wanna show you how I go about getting her to behave around the house and how I just built her up from the ground up. We got her a couple of weeks ago, and I just wanna show you her journey. I wasn't able to do it with Ghost just because at the time I wasn't creating the way I'm doing now. I wanna give you all a more in-depth look. Like I said, I really try to put these dogs in a structured environment where they understand the boundaries, but they understand they could be a dog and they could play and have a good time and have their outlet. And that's most important. You want your dogs to live their best life. So with that being said, that wraps up the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Speedy baby.